Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, episode number 50, and this is reason to celebrate. Uh, although we are just going to have a normal episode, but I am very happy that we were able to get to episode 50. And this means I have already 50 videos, at least, on YouTube for you guys to see the analysis of the markets and learn, of course, uh, some strategies and some other topics that we discuss here. So without further delay, let's go to screen share. And let me just uh, start here with the price to time model. <clears throat> here we are on the price to time model and there's not a big change since yesterday, but we are still below the 20 week SMA. We are now around 43K and a half. So regarding the price to time model price action on the weekly, of course, this is just almost what we had yesterday. So the week has been all the same for more than 24 hours. Uh, however, we yesterday discussed that on the RSI, this new level that I uh, have been discussing for some time already, since January at least this year, I was already discussing the fact that the bull cycle of 2021 is very similar to the bull cycle of 2013 because of the RSI double peak and of course the price action double peak as you guys can see here. We had the peak sort of at the middle of this bull cycle and then we had the final top here and the RSI shows double peaks also so that's why I have the yellow circles and you guys know that already. So this level here the dashed orange line is basically the level that the RSI achieved coming back down in the middle of the two peaks and we are now also having the RSI doing the same and as I said yesterday on my previous video I hope that the RSI keeps going sideways around this dashed line and we are able to sustain the price action not going much further to the downside. So regarding the price to time model that's what I have for you guys today. Let's just check the MRI strategy on Bitcoin. Sorry, here it is. This is the weekly chart. So we have been starting a new week again on the red. We are below the 20 week SMA, as you guys can see. Uh, so it remains basically the same. This is still a six red of nine. So um, we could expect, according to the MRI, at least two more weeks of downside. But however, I guess we are not going much further. We could have still a third week on the red. But regarding price action or price level, I don't believe that we are going much further. Although I still have the probability on the table of we going to 40, low 40s, even 40 or 38, 39. But I believe that would be something like a big flash uh, crash and uh, immediate recovery. So leaving a week behind below the 40s, maybe. But as I said, I believe this is a very low probability of happening. And we still have the second trend line that is coming now during this week at around 38,000. So we have uh, lots of support starting from the 41 and a half K uh, to 40, 39. There's a big support here, which is the previous, um, the previous swing high. And there's a lot of support of because of all this accumulation we had here. I will show you guys in a zoom. So all this accumulation here, of course, provides big support for the price action. And also the trend line is still on the way of the price action if it comes down. So I believe that we will not see a lot more downside, although the probability, as I said, is still on the table. So that's the analysis for the price action on the weekly. We also have the RSI uh, still going down, but almost sideways, almost um, 
on a zero degrees inclination here the MACD of course is bearish because we have the blue line below the orange line and they are getting uh, distance from each other also the bars are increasing the last two weeks they have increased much more than the previous three weeks which were already red but we will see what will happen during the course of this week I believe that starting probably uh, by the end of next week or even the week after that we will have some recovery already on the MACD but nothing like waiting be patient and wait for the signals so let's go to the daily chart and on the daily chart we have which I consider one of the most important um, signals right now the MRI is giving us an MRI bottom and this means that we could be uh, starting a price reversal, price action reversal to the upside. Well, at least for a dead cat bounce, which could mean one to four candle correction in the opposite direction, of course. So going up and probably in the next few days, we will see some kind of recovery on the price action, if not at least going to the moving averages that, that are now starting to come back down but at the minimum i expect at least a few days of upside corresponding to the minimum of a dead cat bounce so in this regard the daily is giving us good signs the candle is actually going up as we speak or as i record the video of course and you guys will listen just in a few minutes after this uh, so the candle was just before I started to record this candle was red of course we have been on the downside of that level but we are now going above the opening of the candle so that means a green candle which is a good sign also so the volume is of course going up because of this massive uh, sell-off that we had in the past few days the RSI however crossed to well some people would say it crossed some people would say it just stayed on top of the line um, but this is almost of course not even by a hair this is in fact on top but you can see there's a bit of purple just below the white dashed line so i would say that we were in oversold territory the MACD of course on the daily also very bearish we have the two lines below the bars the blue line getting distance from the orange and the bars increasing a bit although the last bar is just the same size as the previous one but they have been increasing for a few days now so uh, that's the outlook for the daily let's take a look at the four hours so the four hours are already showing some signs of recovery we have the MRI uh, sign here the D uh, letter meaning that this is an MRI bottom and we are already seeing some reversal since we started this candle about one and a half hours ago I was uh, also um, delaying a bit the recording of this video because I wanted to see how this candle would behave and on the four hours we have now some at least a small recovery of the price action going to the upside the RSI is of course since being on oversold territory on the 17th of May by midnight which means midnight Portuguese time yesterday uh, we have been on oversold territory here and then we started to go back up very slowly we had a small decay here because of that big red candle but we are now as you guys can see here we are now pointing up on the RS RSI on the four hour so that shows a small sign of recovery let's see where the uh, daily MRI bottom takes us but I, I see already some signs that we could start to form a bottom around this level of the 42k the MACD is very undecided uh, on the four hour we have the lines below the bars however the blue line is already above the orange and we have four green bars here so another sign of a uh, small recovery however the bitmax funding rate is very very quiet i've been uh, wondering what's happening with bitmax if some kind of problem happened but we are now exactly on zero for the funding rate and the premium for the negative side is increasing a lot so i would say that this is very good also for the bull case 
and we shall see how this develops in the next few hours or days but regarding bitmax funding rate this is good for the bulls uh, so let me just confirm here on the one hour how the bitmax funding rate is and also you can see on the one hour we have been already uh, forming this round bottom here but this is just a one hour of course so it's not so relevant as the daily or the weekly however we can see already some uh, reversal of the price action after this big drop that we had today this morning and let me check the bitmax funding rate so exactly so we are now on negative bitmax funding rate and that's good we are now on minus 0 0.02 so uh, this is good for the this is good for the bulls of course because it shows the market sentiment um, inversely uh, related to the price action as i usually say i like to see the bitmax funding rate on the negative side because usually it shows a tendency to go to the upside okay so let's go to the pro indicators framework so as you guys know already i have been studying this range that we have here this was my second long speculative area and this corresponded to the smallest probability in my table of probabilities in my mind i had very big probabilities split between the uh, taking profit uh, around here if we didn't have this drop when elon musk tweeted of course and if we went if i i was expecting also the probability that we could go to the downside and this was basically the same probability as this one here uh, so this would be the place where i would start to buy or, or start my long positions expecting at least some kind of recovery to the upside but in fact because of all the fud that we have been uh, having on the last few days on the market this continued to the downside we actually formed a new fourth range boundary invalidating the previous one we had here when uh, those tweets occurred and now we had also a week below the ranging channel and immediate recovery to the upside so showing very very good strength here on the bulls to maintain at least this price level and not allowing bitcoin to go to the downside or even break out of this ranging channel so regarding the 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 pro indicators framework i see that we have been having a very strong squeeze from the from the bears the bears have been in control all this time since we formed the third range boundary and uh, although the sine wave and the momentum show indications of going up we have been having a lot of trouble to see the price action correspond to that uh, indication here down here and it's really hard to go up because the the bears are also taking profits a lot in this area so the bulls i guess are just waiting on the sidelines a bit seeing how this will develop but i believe that we are if we are not yet on a bottom here we are very close to it and even if you go to the downside a bit more i don't see a lot more downside after this here so i will wait also on the sidelines as you guys know already i already bought two positions i bought uh, one first position as soon as this started to drop below my green uh, first long speculative area and i bought again uh, almost close to this ranging channel bottom here this white line but i did not do anything else since that buy of yesterday or two days ago i can't remember anymore but it was very recent so let's see how this evolves uh, also another thing i wanted to show you guys is the dollar so the dollar is going down again and i have been having this orange box here for a long time already since december last year and this was the first uh, attempt that the dollar was making to break the support at 89 on the dixie the dxy as you know the index for the dollar which uh, shows the dollar indexed against all other currencies in the world and we almost had a break of the 89 here on the first week of january however the dollar recovered since then had another top here on the last week of march on the 29th of march two weeks after that we had an mri top we started to come down and now we are again during this week going down 
so we are already below the 90 level and if we break the 89 this will be a very good case for the bulls in bitcoin of course because the dollar and bitcoin are usually inversely correlated so uh, for me it's good news if the dollar goes by uh, goes below the 89 support level and breaks this finally so let's see what happens with the dollar we are still on the six of nine so three more weeks almost like exactly like bitcoin we are also on the six of nine so i would say that we if the dollar starts to go down like crazy i would say that bitcoin uh, has formed the bottom and probably will start to go up recovering the price action to the upside very soon but i would love to see the dollar below the 89 level so let's see what happens also gold let's take a look at gold today since this is the 50th uh, episode of uh, the fu money uh, i'm also taking a look at gold today and as you guys know we have been rallying for eight weeks already in gold we started on this mri bottom here on the 8th of march so this is um, a considerable number of weeks already like two months already uh, we have been going up not very fast but steadily and now we are this week corresponds to an mri warning which means that coming week next sunday or monday morning we will start the candle if we don't go down from here of course and the next candle opens above this one and continues the rally we will have an mri top with the nine count on the green and probably we will see gold coming back down for a small correction but given the trend that we have been seeing for the last few weeks i would say that gold is in an uptrend also inversely correlated to the dollar and that's very good um that shows also the, the you know that bitcoin is doing the same almost as gold uh, as soon as the dollar breaks the 89 to the downside we could see a rally in gold and bitcoin because they are both inversely correlated so just a small look let's just check here um let me check the time so this has been 17 minutes that's good not a very long video today let me just take a quick look at the s p 500 and also we had <clears throat> This is not loaded so i probably will need to reload the page sorry for that okay now it's loaded the mri is loaded so as you guys know two weeks ago we had an mri top since then we have been correcting the price action a bit i am expecting at least that we could go close to the 20 week sma uh, having a correction very very similar to what we had on the previous mri top that we had three more weeks of downside after that week and then we started to recover the price again just followed by this flash crash i would say in two weeks in one week and the other recovered above the uh, the prior opening of the red candle so it could happen the same here so we have again an mri top on the s p 500 so we could have we had already one week on the red after that and we are now on the second we could have this week and the next still with uh, some price action correction to the downside and then probably getting close to the 20 week sma or even uh, touching it for a new recovery of the price because we have been having this uptrend for some time already so i don't see a big drop right now on the smp also because the dollar is going down and as you know when the dollar goes down and the um, um, interest rate of the dollar is like we know <laughs> that this is right now all the other assets bitcoin gold uh, stocks are going always uh, in a nice trend and steadily going up so that's what's happening with the s p 500 okay guys so this is what i had for you guys today let me go back to my full screen just confirming here um so this is the analysis for today i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did gently touch the like button as usual um, subscribe to the channel if you are new and share it with your friends and i will leave you now with very good advice from um, something i used to watch many many years ago but i would like to share this with you and make it part of the episodes from today on so let's hear a very good advice 
All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. And with that, I leave you guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.